In this video, we are highlighting the dining options on the Holland America Koningsdam cruise ship. Stay tuned till the end for an insider interview with the executive chef. If you watched our previous videos, you know that I loved the cruise I took on the Holland America Koningsdam. One of the reasons I enjoyed my cruise so much was the food. <laughs> this ship was absolute foodie heaven. It is evident that Holland America takes your culinary experience very seriously, and I was impressed with both the flavors and the service. I'm gluten and dairy free, so there's always concern about what I'll be able to eat. And I can tell you that in every single restaurant, the chefs made sure I had a delicious and creative meal, complete with sumptuous desserts. Every ship has a buffet, and the Koningsdam was no exception. But I have to tell you, the Lido market did not feel like a typical one. It was light and airy and consisted of themed mini food stations. Unlike most buffets, a great deal of the food is actually cooked to order, yet we never had a long wait and were surprised by some of the offerings like sushi and crepes. The Lido market is, of course, included in your cruise. The main dining room features an international menu with good variety. Everything we had was delicious, particularly the desserts. We never waited more than a few minutes to be seated and the service was consistently excellent. They have fantastic selections of wines for all of you wine lovers, and the main dining room is included in your cruise fare. Looking for something quick and casual? The Grand Dutch Cafe serves delicious desserts, pastries, and coffee, and you'll be able to grab a burger or a Nathan's Famous Hot Dog at the Dive In Poolside Grill, all included in your cruise. 24-hour room service is also included if you want to enjoy a leisurely breakfast in bed or a late-night snack. Club Orange members have their own dedicated restaurant with expanded dinner menus and priority dining. There are several restaurants that are offered at an additional but surprisingly affordable cost, and you'll want to indulge at least a few times during your cruise. At Nami Sushi, located inside the Tamarind Restaurant, you'll enjoy breathtaking ocean views to go along with every type of sushi you can imagine. You'll also enjoy a nice selection of Asian spirits and, of course, sake. The Pinnacle Grill is the ultimate steakhouse at sea and features an upscale yet relaxed dining experience with 28-day wet-aged USDA prime steaks, a crowd-pleasing dessert menu, and impeccable service. The menu includes seafood selections and innovative recipes by James Beard award-winning chef and culinary council member David Burke. The lunch I enjoyed was exceptional. Can you tell what my favorite part was? You'll definitely want to add the Pinnacle Grill to your dining list. Rudy's Cell de Mer is an intimate brasserie featuring a combination of classic French dishes and outstanding seafood. My dinner was impeccable and the service was phenomenal. Bring a big appetite as the portions are quite generous and you will want to save room for one of their delicious desserts. I highly recommend adding this to your must-do list and make reservations early because you won't want to miss this. Can you tell I was impressed with the dining options on the Koningsdam? There is something for every food and wine lover and the restaurants rival anything you can find in Manhattan. Food and wine is a big focus on the Koningsdam. I really enjoyed the port-to-table food demonstration and morning coffee chat with the executive chef. If you can, you won't want to miss the informative and entertaining wine tasting. Consider taking home your own bottle of wine mixed according to your taste. We had the good fortune to sit down with executive chef Owen D'Souza at the Pinnacle Grill for an interview on what makes the dining experience on the Koningsdam so exceptional. Hello, chef. Hello. Good day. Uh, I have been enjoying incredible meals here on Holland America. Can you tell us what makes the food so high quality and wonderful here? Tell us about what drew you to Holland America. And when I came here, I kind of fell in love with this place, with the atmosphere, with the team, with the, the food that we put out, the presentations. And what we do here, or what we work towards is our, uh, the quality of the food 
and, and the presentations. We have a whole team in the office with our director of culinary uh, experience, uh, John Mulvaney, along with fleet chefs who work very hard to put together all the menus that we have right now. A lot of the menus that we have are, are itinerary specific. We have a lot of itinerary specific items that are inculcated in our menus. And the presentations, of course, along with Chef Rudy, we work, I mean, they work very hard into making sure each plate is designed as to how it should look. So tell us about your board. You have a board of culinary experts. Absolutely. I mean, we have Chef Rudy, and, uh, who's our consultant chef. Then we have uh, Chef John Mulvaney, who's the director of culinary experience. Then we have fleet chefs, where Robert Schumann is our senior fleet chef, along with Marco Marama. Uh, I mean, they have, they have a full set of things going on on the agenda, and right now they're actually preparing for Alaska. So you brought some chefs on from other lines, and what do they have to say as compared to where they've worked before? Well, they are they are really happy to be here. I can tell you that. I mean, the the work structure and the whole the availability of ingredients and everything else compared to what they've had experiences they've had in the past, I can tell you they're really happy to be here. I mean, I really notice a difference in the quality of the food. I feel like I'm eating in a very expensive restaurant, even in the in just the Lido deck. So tell us a little bit about why it is that you have such high quality food versus... Well, we know that the clientele we have already expects to have food at that standard. And it is a lot of rigorous training and uh, with our team members because they keep on changing. So a part of my job basically is training these people, to, to the team members that come on, to make sure that they put out the food in, 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 at that level. Even in the leader, for example, your plating techniques into, as to how, you, how they put food onto a plate. I mean, your starch, if you ask them for a protein, they will ask you next, what starch would you want to go with it or which, what vegetable you would want to go with that. And that is just a part of training and after a while, it just becomes routine and they get used to it. I mean, it's, it's that, it's, I, it sounds complicated, but it's actually that simple. You talked yesterday about when we were in the port in San Diego, you turned away the oysters. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a big step. Oh. Absolutely. For us, quality is number one. I mean, we, we cannot compromise on quality first. And it also has to do with, the, with what we serve. When we, when we say this is the standard we are at, we have to maintain it. And that's why we have checks, even on the pier, for what comes in. Now, we have to take into consideration harvest dates and packaging dates and shipping dates and everything of that sort. So when it doesn't meet our, our criteria, then we have to reject it. So a big question I get on every webinar I do is, mm -hmm. do you have gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan options, peanut allergies, kosher food, like every question about the food? We have all of it. And all we need to know is that you have a certain allergy or you have a certain condition, you're, glu you're gluten-free, you have cel celiac disease. That's all we need to know. And then we, we take it from there. We, what we suggest is you look at the menu because the menus are bas basically provided to you and you tell us what, what you want from that menu and we can, we can make it for you. We have a lot of vegan items on board that, that you will have all over, all over the ship. Now, it may not seem there, but, but we have it. And all, all we need to do is say, okay, this is, what, this is what I want, and we can take care of it. Yes, and I also noticed that you have low sugar items. Like, I yes. think you don't know this on other ships. You take special care to make sure people are aware. I mean, we, if you notice in the Lido, in one corner on the sweet spot, you have even gluten-free items on, on display. So it, it is all there, but if you want to go a step further and have something else, for example, you see something on the menu say the lamb shank for example and you'd like to have it gluten-free or lactose free we, we can definitely pro uh, prepare it for you mm -hmm. all we need to know is we need to know that that's what you'd like to have so what is your favorite meal to prepare oh my god there's so much <laughs> as a chef there is so there is so much i mean we go through so many things every day um so what, what i like to do the most truthfully is to cook for my kids 
you can see this, to see the smile on their face when, when, they're, when, they're, when they're eating. I mean, that's what really kind of makes me happy. It's just simple, simple food, but it, it means the world to them. Yes, and you are typically on a four month on, two month off, so you get to spend all that time with your kids. Absolutely, and that's one of the reasons why I do this job, because typ typically in the, in, in the industry that I'm on, if I was to be working on a, in a restaurant, I'd have to be there 24 seven. So even though I'd actually be home, I wouldn't be home. But while I'm here, what happens is I work, say, four months, and I'm away from them, but the two months that I'm home with them, I am with them. And it makes a lot of a difference, especially when, when the children are growing up. Yes. So we have a lot of agents who are foodies and mm -hmm. love to promote foodie-type experiences. Yesterday, we got to watch you do a, a cooking demonstration. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about the culinary experiences that they can have both on the ship and off the ship. Well, on the ship, we have, we have so much going on. It just depends on what you, what you crave for for the night. I mean, we have an Asian option in the Tamarin where you have Nami Sushi as well, where you can actually watch my sushi chefs prepare the sushi for you. And, you, and, and they're, they're great guys. You can, they, they will talk to you. They will take you through the whole experience. That is something that people always look forward to. Uh, the tamarind itself is a, is a treat. I mean, uh, everybody who, who actually goes in there wants to go back again. I mean, they, there's always good, good stuff to say about the tamarind. Then we have the Rudy Seldomer, which is another experience by itself. I mean, we have fresh seafood in there. We have fresh live, live lobsters. We, uh, we usually have uh, live, fresh oysters as well. But like I said, this time, this time around, I had to turn them away. But we have all that. We have fresh fish options that the chef will cook for you the way you like it. You want it pan fried, you want it grilled, and he will take care of it for you. So if I'm in Alaska and mm -hmm. I go fishing and I catch giant salmon, mm -hmm. can I bring it back here and have it prepared for me? Well, we have a program that is in the pipeline. It's called Save My Catch, whereby if you go out and you, you catch, whatever you catch, you, you can bring back on, and we will cook it for you the way you like it. Wow. And we were in Mexico on the first day. Mm -hmm. And then if we wanted to learn more about tortilla soup and carne asada, what might be an experience that we can have on the ship to learn more about that? Well, like, like I said, we, we have these uh, demos, the port table demos, where we feature item, items that are available locally, lo the local cuisine, basically. And it gives you an experience of what all you can expect, not only on the ship, but also why, when you go out in the places that we visit. So how comfortable do you feel on Port to Table when you're up there? It looks like you're on a Food Network cooking show and you've got Jamie up there mm -hmm. and he's cracking you up and... Jamie is just great. I mean, it's great to have somebody like Jamie around. I mean, he, he keeps you on your toes. You never know what, what he's going to ask you next. <laughs> I mean, just like he ends the, the coffee chat like he usually does. I mean, I, sometimes I think, what is he going to come up with next? And it's, it's always an unexpected question. One day he kind of asked me, oh, is your bed made? <laughs> but it's things like that. And, he, and that's what keeps you on your toes, basically. So did you realize that that was going to be part of the job, that you were going to be the face of, of culinary experience here and you were going to be doing these TV well, shows and, and, and inter coffee talk interviews? Truthfully, to tell you at first, no, I, I, it was not something that I expected. But like, like many things, it's a part of the job, and you take it in your stride. Well, you take it more than stride. You shine. You are a star. Well, thank, you, thank you. Thank you so much thank for you. your time. Absolutely. This video is part of a series of videos we're doing on the Holland America Koningsdam. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to be notified of future videos. Of course, if you have any questions, please comment below and we'll answer right away.